Welcome back to Matt's Workshop. Today I have a quick video showing how I use Autodesk Fusion 360 to model components that I plan on fabricating for an upcoming project. Okay, today I'm modeling a 2 by 72 inch belt grinder uh, that I'm going to fabricate out of some steel and some basic components. I'm modeling this in Autodesk Fusion 360. The green parts are the steel frame, the yellow part so far there. That's, we'll call that the pillar. There's going to be a spring underneath that that um, helps with the tension on the belt. Next I'm modeling the uh, alignment hinge components. Uh, There's going to be a wheel that hangs off of this that will be adjustable by a knob to help with alignment left and right. All the hardware you see that I'm importing here, these are coming directly from McMaster Car's website. There's no point in trying to draw nuts and bolts and washers when you can quickly import them. I'll plug them right into Fusion 360. Got the whole machine here mounted on a steel plate just for modeling sake. It'll go on some sort of stand. Okay, next I'm adding uh, the extension tube and the wheel holder bracket and uh, the, the platen. So that's how that'll mount right there. The green part is the platen. That'll give me a nice firm uh, backing support for doing uh, straight grinding. Uh, the wheels that I'm using, I'm modeled some roller skate, excuse me, uh, skateboard wheels with uh, bearings. Um, the inside diameter, the axles for these bearings is about eight millimeters, so five sixteenths or so, I think. Um, those are just stock components that you can buy anywhere. Probably get those from eBay or something. Now there you see at the top the adjusting knob that'll help tilt the alignment wheel, which there it is, the alignment wheel, um, for left and right alignment. Again, just tidying up with all the hardware and some locking knobs. I have a lot of this hardware in stock already. The motor is going to be a permanent magnet DC motor. Uh, I have a few that came from conveyor belts and large treadmills and um, probably be at least two horsepower, maybe three. It'll be variable speed. And uh, well, the drive wheel is just a caster wheel, so it's got a crown to it already. That'll be perfect. And then I've added a Norton Blaze abrasive belt just for the sake of the video here. Um, I've already checked my dimensions to make sure that it fits properly. And that will do it for modeling this project in Fusion 360. If you have anything to add, please leave a comment below.